Shalom. This is Yahya Dabiri speaking to you from the land of Israel, from a region close to the biblical Bethlehem. Today we are about to discuss an incident that occurred when the Israelites were about to enter the land of Israel. They had come out of Egypt, they had gone through the wilderness, and they were close to the borders of the area of Canaan. Uh, when they decided to send in spies, to send in spies to, to check out the land, to check out the land of Canaan, to see what it was like, to see how it was fortified, and uh, to bring back a report. So and they chose for these spies 12 princes, 12 princes from each one from one of the tribes of Israel. There were 12 tribes of Israel, they chose one prince from each tribe. And this prince was their representative, he was a representative of the of the tribe that had sent him. And these tribes were sent by Moses to tr check out the land of Canaan, and they went into the land. And according to the Natsib, a famous commentator in the 1800s, he was a very important commentator, very deep uh, insights he has, and he, chose, he, he proves from the verses that these 12 uh, spies actually split, split up into, uh, divided up into six different teams, with two men in each team. And each team of two uh, went through a different portion of the land, and uh, they came they came back together. At the end of 40 days, at the end of 40 days, they returned with their report, and they gave their report to Moses and the community. And they said that indeed the land is very fertile, but but there are a lot of inhabitants in the land, and the, these inhabitants are strong. They live in fortified cities, they belong to nations in which, with which we have had uh, bad dealings in the past, in which we had bad experiences as formidable fighters. And we do not believe that we will be able to conquer it. There are also giants amongst them, very tall people who were well known in the Middle East at that time. And so they said they, they would not, they, they did not believe that it was possible to conquer the land. We have this, we have the find this in the book of Numbers. In the book of Numbers we go to chapters 13 and 14 and in the book of Numbers we find, we find uh, in the book of Numbers 13 verse 25 when they returned from spying out the land at the end of 40 days they proceeded to come to Moses and Aaron and to all the congregation of the sons of Israel in the wilderness of Paran and and brought back word to them and to all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land uh, yes, I told him, we went into the land where you sent us, and it certainly does flow with milk and honey. And this is its fruit. Nevertheless, the people who live in the land are strong, and the cities are fortified and very large. And moreover, we saw the descendants of Anak there, that is, a giants, a very tall people. Amalek is living in the land of the Negev. And the Hittites and the Jebusites and the Amorites are living in the countries of the hills. And the Canaanites are living by the sea and by the side of the Jordan. And it says that it goes on in Numbers 13 verse 30 onwards when we are told that Caleb and Yahushua tried to quieten them and they tried to, uh, to get, calm them down. It says, And Caleb quieted the people before Moses and said, We shall by all means go up take possessions of it, for we shall surely overcome it. But the men who had gone up with him said, We're not able to go up against the people, for they are too strong for us. So they came, gave out to the sons of Israel a bad report of the land which they had spied out, saying, The land through which we have gone in spying it out is the land that devours its inhabitants. And all the people we saw in it are men of great size. There also we saw the Nephilim, the sons of Anak, a part of the Nephilim, and we became like grasshoppers in our own sight, and so we were in their sight. We go, it goes on, chapter 14, uh, 1, Then all the congregation lifted up their voices and cried, and the peoples wept that night, and all the sons of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron, and the whole congregation said to them, Would that we had died in the land of Egypt, or the would that we had died in this wilderness, why is the Lord bringing us into this land to fall by the sword? Our wives and little ones will become plunder. Would not be better for us to return to Egypt? So they said to one another, and it's appoint a leader and return to Egypt. And the, the account goes on. 
and the people rebelled when they had heard this news. When the, with ten, ten of the spies, ten out of the twelve spies brought back a, a, a bad report. Actually, all the spies brought back a good report concerning the land, but ten out of the twelve spies gave a disheartening account of what they had seen and have the land, in their opinion, would be too strong, too formidable, too great. Uh, the people were, were too powerful for them to be able to conquer. And uh, this disheartened the people, and the people rebelled against Moses, and they were angry. And in return, God was angry with them, and God wanted to destroy them. And Moses prayed to God, and God forgave them, but he said that he nevertheless they would be punished that all of that generation would die in the wilderness only their children would enter the land but Yahushua from the tribe of Ephraim and Caleb from the tribe of Judah since they were the ones had brought back a favorable port and they had been in favor of entering the land they would indeed enter the land and we find later on that this is what happened Caleb inherited the southern portion of Judah he, he was there, he was amongst the, the, the people of Israel who entered the land. He inherited an area of Judah in the region of Hebron, actually not far from where we are speaking to you now. And it was, Yahushua led all of the tribes of Israel in conquering all of the land and uh, dividing it up amongst the different tribes. We have here a situation whereby you had uh, 12 spies, one spy from each of the tribes, being a prince of that tribe, representative of that tribe, and uh, 10 of these 12 tri uh, spies have, were negative, were against conquering the land, and they caused the rest of the people not to want to go into the land. Whereas uh, Caleb, from the tribe of Judah, Caleb, his name is pronounced as Caleb, or Caleb, uh, it doesn't matter, it's the same name, uh, from the tribe of Judah, and uh, Yoshua, Joshua from the tribe of Ephraim were in favor of entering the land. And this is the account given in the Bible. And this is what we read. And uh, it should be pointed out that there is an emphasis on the fact that each of the spies represented did one of the tribes. Because we see something similar happening in our time. In our time, in our very day, we have the land of Israel. And the children of Israel represented by Judah in the person of Judah is now entering the land of Israel and has conquered part of it, taken over part of it, and is settling in part of it. This is the state of Israel. This is what is happening. And uh, this is and this was being done. At first the British helped the Jews come into the land of Israel. The Jews represent Judah. They, re they uh, as if to say, had been represented by Caleb. Caleb had represented the Judah. The Jews are now the Jewish people, whereas Ephraim is the British, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, they are people from Ephraim. And there are also a large number of Ephraimites amongst the USA, amongst the Americans, even though America is more, is more um, representative in a symbolic sense by Manasseh. And uh, we found that Gadi Ben Susi literally a kid son of a, of a horse, which I think is significant because America is associated with horse, with horses, and we identify America with the Menashe. Uh, doesn't matter. He, he was one of those who brought back a negative report. So we have, a, we have, a, we have indications here in, on bo in both directions. But on the whole, the majority of Israelites, numerically at least physically, in the USA may be descended more from Ephraim than Menashe, even though Menashe, in the sense of national characteristics, uh, is more important as far as the USA is concerned. At all, and and uh, so, at all events, we have, the, we have this situation, and this situation whereby the British helped the Jews set up the land of Israel, and then, and then they, they, the, land of Israel, the state of Israel became independent under the Jews. Jews are representing Judah. And the British tried to backtrack, and they were antagonistic at certain stage, stages and so on. Doesn't matter, but on the whole, they were positive, and they helped, and then the Jews took over. And nowadays we have a situation where all the peoples of the earth, all the peoples of the earth, nearly every single nation is against the state of Israel, apart from, apart from the USA, which supports the state of Israel, and also, and also Britain, Australia, Canada, they are the nations that, also in favor of Israel, which helped the state of Israel, and they 
They do. Amongst their own populations, they have uh, left-wing uh, politicians and they have all kinds of, of negative elements in their own population and they have uh, all kinds of pressures put on them. And they may, they may backtrack, they may betray us, they may not. The indications are that they will not, that they will continue to be in our favour and we believe and hope they will be. And the same applies to USA. And so we are seeing a pattern here where Ephraim and and um, and Judah together are going together, entering the land, helping each other. Uh, Judah is now is doing the more active at the ground level. In the background, and as far as support and so on, Ephraim is also supporting us. Yes, sir, in some way, how the fixed situation at the time at the time of the tribes. We should point out that there are Israelite nations in the world, other nations in the world wherein we identify a good portion of Israelites but they belong to other tribes, uh, countries such as Finland, Norway, Denmark, Sweden, the Netherlands, Belgium, France, Switzerland, Ireland. These are all nations which have a significant proportion of Israelites within them. At, at certain points some of these nations were quite friendly towards the state of Israel, helped the state of Israel and were helped by it. But lately, in the last, uh, good, for some period of time now, they have been antagonistic towards the, the State of Israel. Diplomatically, they support the Palestinians, they put pressure on the State of Israel. They also send money to NGOs within the State of Israel who work against the government and work against the Jewish people. Uh, so, and this reflects the situation of the spies who gave a negative report and incited the rest of the, of the, of the whole of the Israelites to be against going into the land. And this caused a disaster or something very close to it. So may we learn from history, may we learn what was it happened in the past, and may we follow the example of the good that was done by Joshua and by Caleb and support the state of Israel and support the path of the truth and righteousness and the biblical directives. Thank you very much. May the Lord God of Israel bless you.